or the Native Americans knew that the eagle was coming. That's why they knew it was coming here in Mexico. That's why they know all around the world that this is coming. And that's why these people are doing these and they walk in the very symbols and the emblems of the person who has that in entitlement. That's what they're doing. And then they come out and they mock it and you have no idea when you see these movies. Kung Fu Panda, Michael, uh, Legion, uh, Legends were, you know, uh, what's his name's got a battle of the devil at the end of the age, the girl, the princess. Who's the princess? You type in last princess, you come up with this word, Lyra. Okay, I'm almost about done because I pretty much made my case. These are family entitlement names based on the children of Israel, and the names are going to go to the famous warrior, the poor keeper, who is like God. Those are classifications in the dictionary based on phonetics and etymology, onomastics and genealogy, Bible, encyclopedia, dictionary. Boom. No one can change them. Thank God. Praise God. I'm tired of watching people. This is originally Lyra. 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 Metathesis. See that, ladies and gentlemen? These things have no names. They have really no purpose. You just keep saying, well, we just keep thinking that there ain't angels unclassified. And you can't classify angels with any, the way anybody's taught you unless you look them up in the dictionary yourself and you look in the Bible yourself and you see that when it says a man who's an angel, it means a man who's an angel as in Revelation. And if you don't know that part and you don't know that signs and symbols are the basis for all words, then you'll never figure out what signs and symbols mean who's actual, the actual ruler on this earth. And that means that anybody can put out any story 3,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago to block the human beings who come from these families. And if I just told you that story, and I just completed that circle, that would mean I'd have to be from one of those families. And I'm not pointing at all the chemtrails and all that stuff. I'm pointing for the temple because I found the name that matches these two. And I can prove it a thousand times. It'll be full circle. It's based over here. Genesis 1.14. Uh, how about this one, Daniel 2.21? Um, these things are unseen. This is ridiculous. How can I do that? Uh, Proverbs 25.2. You know, it's funny, in Funk and Wagnall, they show an angel in the... But we've never seen this. And forget all the UFOs, but that person's connected with the 4th of July, and his name is also the same as the prince. written in the Bible, and that's not Jesus. That, so what we have to separate is God Almighty, who's going to dwell in the temple, from the scions, the forerunners. You get the, the actual covenant. Somebody is completely twisted, not on purpose. It's because they don't have the key to put this all in the end time perspective. This is the expounding. It can't come from a bunch of people. It can only come from one person who knows who the king is and can prove why the jack is the name of Trump's, why G Protocol, why Symphon Zion, why the Meister Singer, why Omega, why the voice. So somewhere out there, there are some voice tracks that God has already recorded right here. And they know.
know that because they're showing us in their witchcraft. And the fact that these are being allowed, not only being allowed, but being applied to the government of the United States of America, if I can show that these two names match, that means at this time that any institution that carries these names that match in lexicography, whatever they might be, I'm not telling you, but I can show you how to do it, any American, 7th grade level, that those would be the owners of the United States of America and the owners in the deed of Israel for them to rebuild their temple. The temple is now presently restored. Because I'm showing you that these names already match, and in order for that to happen, I would have to have something that no human being on the face of the earth has, regardless of how important you are speaking of. Everybody's important, everybody has a good job, but we're looking for a prince and a king. Have a good day. Shalom. And it's funny because not only does this match the movie that's out, I haven't seen them anybody make a comment and say, look at that beautiful movie we're making that represents that insignia that we brandished in front of you all like a smoke signal. That actually matches things which are in, followed in the Shumash or the Kumash here. The music of the universe is like a turtle shell. And Shumash, they were carrying from the time of Japheth the symbol which we're venerating now. That's why it's here. That's why the stories in the world will match the stories that are up in the heavens and they'll match the story in the Bible. And it will match a human name. I didn't even put the California map up. We have the Kings, we have the Angels, we have Mexico, the King's Highway, Golden Gate, Angel Island. And where Angel you Island. were born. Angel's Crest Highland. I was born at San Gabriel Archangel Mission, which is the, joy, the doorway, doorway leads right to the King's Highway. I was born on Passover, April 14th. My birthday has fallen on Easter two times. I performed at Universal Studios for so many people, the crowds were so gigantic, and the money that these people left was unbelievable for my talent. And I can stand up and say that. It's come to nothing. 
this is what's happening. This is the conspiracy. that that's all an absolute construct, constitution, conspiracy, construct, constellations, con, <laughs> yeah, continent. So that's what's really happening. Now, if I'm right, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm saying this balance thing is here, and I show it over here, well, let's go to Sequoia National Park in Kings Canyon, right there. Now, I want to point you to something else. Here we got me and vehicles. We got Toyota, Mishtoyo, which means the covenant. You have the forerunner. They also have a Sequoia. You go up to Sequoia, you can go in through Porterville or Vice. Hell yeah. You see that, that balance in cartography? I just matched it up for you. If you were wise enough to go, oh, Kings right away, and no, when you look at this, there's no such thing as a Jack. You've never seen a Jack in any family. Jack is not the Joker, but the definition is the name of Trumps. Trumps brings us back over to here and this stuff. So if they're practicing witchcraft, we're going to find these things. Wait a minute. Signs. See that? 1971 song list. Signs. Beginnings. Starry, starry night. That's everything I've just showed you. Watch this one, ladies and gentlemen. Aquila and the arrow. Did I not show you? Me and my arrow. And I showed you that in an Indian reservation. The Indian reservation, 1971. The beginning of the end. And the beginning and the end is Alpha and Omega. You know, that's almost like it's your song. If you look in the, in the scriptures, you have two sticks, this person who gets this, this thing, he's a prophet, but yet you don't know who this prophet is because it's not Ezekiel, because that was not for Ezekiel's time. This prophecy is for now. And this is the relationship between the Ephraim and Joseph and the Judah and Israel. That's what's going on here with the White Castle and the White House and the, the uh, Camp David. And that's why in National Treasure, my cameraman, did they not use a white castle in that show? A white castle. Watch this. Do these match one another? Well, they kind of do. They got a sword. They got wings. They're in a, a banner or a, an insignia. An insignia, that's very important. And look at how many of these insignias go to this cartoon character. So watch this, ladies and gentlemen. That's a cartoon character, you see? because you can't put a face to it, you can't put a classification to it, and not one person that I see in the Christian church or Rome is classific classifying this correctly, and they make cars, and they make spaceships, and they make computers, which tells me that they know the onomastics and the genealogy. So I'm telling you as Americans that the door, the blessing, that the, the nature tells us who's ruling. And that Now, imagine being that person knowing they're looking for a person and knowing that all these other people came but you can't see them and every time you see their face you see a different face Yeah, stopping in is the logical thing to do. Hope you're doing well out there. It's nice to be playing in Singing Valley today. Hope you're all doing well. I want to remind you that all the pre-owned vehicles are already priced and online. It's a beautiful day. It's nice to be alive. Stop in and see us and take a drive. Alright, hope you're doing great today, ladies and gentlemen. I want to remind you to be safe out there. Hi, how are you? Please drive safe today. Stop in and see us when you can.